Hello friends, Sniz here, and today I'll be covering more old footage. A lot more has happened since I originally recorded this footage, but due to my laziness, it'll be a bit before more is revealed. Though, nothing exciting really happened. What you just saw me was me using two unique potential scrolls that we received as compensation for not one, but two failed DMTs. So hopefully that gives you an indication of how old this footage is. I used both of those potential scrolls on my two arcane pieces as I was not given the luxury of being able to tier them during the actual DMT. I also used the discounted cubes from the first DMT to cube those pieces of gear. I don't have it recorded, but worry not, I got nothing of significance other than tiering a few pieces to legendary. In the background I have my first Varus Hilla clear playing. The party I'm in consists of a hero, Mercedes, Nightlore, Bowmaster, Kana, and myself as Thunderbreaker. The Hilla is not too bad of a boss due to the fact that our party runs multiple healing familiars. Even though healing lines have the potential to eat inputs, this party is finding that using them is well worth it as we get to ignore a lot of her attacks. But even with the healing familiars, keeping track of the scythe timer and also remembering to cleanse as needed still proves to be a challenge for my monkey brain. Either way, this first clear was actually one of our cleanest clears, because if memory serves me right, we've been consistently losing at least one member before actually clearing Varus Hilla since then. Overall, Varus Hilla is actually a manageable boss, but is only manageable because it's not nearly as stressful due to having healing familiars. Speaking of bossing, I chose to do some reorganization of my parties recently. I moved my Thunderbreaker out of its current Hard Lucid party to help out my guild's Hard Lucid party. I really did enjoy bossing with my old party, so I stuck around as Kana to help out. The party I ended up moving my Thunderbreaker to is definitely weaker, but I really enjoy getting to run with my girlfriend and guildmates. It's also satisfying to be given Sacro and ignore Dragon completely. Shout out to Shiro and the rest of the Paladins that have linked to me in the past and saved my monkey ass. The new Hard Lucid party I'm running with clears with anywhere between 10 to 15 seconds on the clock, so it's comfortable enough that I can relax, thankfully. I trained up my second Kana to 220 to participate in the party that I left. I could always run on my Kishmiel, but since I eventually want to get my current Kana farmer to 250 plus, I might as well start working towards a Lucid Soul while I can. Before I did that, I finally invested in cheering up my accessories and cubed for Meso and drop lines. I did eventually make it to 220 and completed Latchlin Prequest so I could participate in Hard Lucid ASAP. Fun fact, this new Kana is incapable of clearing golems at the moment since I don't have enough arcane force to do proper damage. When people say max domain is all you need to be hard lucid ready on a Kana, they aren't joking. The old hard lucid party that I left on my Thunderbreaker got a drop the first week I ran with them on this Kana. It was the party's second dreamy belt. The first one boomed within an hour of obtaining it, but this one managed to survive much longer. The highest star seen on it was 19 before it boomed. Maybe the third belt will fare even better. In addition to that party getting a drop, my current Kana Farmer's party also got a drop. My guild leader got a weapon drop from Lucid. Some people never struggle, as this was her direct upgrade from Abso to Arcane. In a recent KMS patch, they buffed the drop rates of hard boss equipment in reboot servers, so we'll see if that change actually translates to anything in GMS. I've been running 4 sets of hard Lucid and 3 sets of hard will, and I've seen one weapon drop from my Thunderbreaker and joined the overall gang on both my Kana and my Thunderbreaker. 3 drops for myself and over 150 plus hard boss runs doesn't sound too good when I actually say it out loud. <sighs> Other than frustrations with drop rates and the crawl that is the 275 grind, nothing else has happened just yet. But until next time, bye bye